Hey, welcome. David here from RadiationHealthRisks.com. I apologize for the dim lighting. I'm kind of in an upper attic office that we have in our house. But I wanted to do a quick uh, product review on this product that I really like um, called the, the Phone Guard. And just like in all of the product review videos that I do, I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to tell you what I like about it, but I'm also going to tell you its limitations. And we're going to actually put a cell phone in it. We're going to test it here in the video. Um, so if anybody, in the, when we're done with this video, if anybody wants this, by the way, on the recommended protections page on radiationhealthrisks.com, um, I have a picture of this um, with a link to where you can get it at if anybody wants it. And I'll put a link below uh, this video as well to that page so you can get it. So what this is, is we've got... It's, it's, a, it's a cloth pouch uh, made for a cell phone to fit in it. And how it's constructed is it's made out of a regular cloth fabric, and, but it's got two layer, it's got a layer inside of, uh, if you can see it, kind of a metallic, what I call a metallic cloth. It's basically a fabric with metallic fibers woven in it. And one of, there's two, of the, two layers in there. One of them is sewn into the back of the pouch and then the other one is left here kind of in the middle so that it creates two pockets. And so if you, if you put your cell phone in the outer pocket, it's got the protection on one side, but it's just got regular fabric on the other side. So your phone will still get normal signal and it's only blocking radiation coming out of the phone from one side. Um, but if you stick the cell phone in between in the, in the upper pocket there, in between the two layers of fabric and you go like close it then it's the your cell phone is completely surrounded by the metallic fabric and and it'll block the signal coming in all directions from the phone when I first got this I, I took my cell phone this is just a test cell phone that I use it's not my normal one but <clears throat> when I, I stuck it in here like that my phone and then I had my son uh, call my phone and it didn't ring and I thought huh maybe I had my ringer turned off so I pulled the phone out like that and my son called it again and it rang then I stuck it back in the uh, you know in the pocket between the metallic where it was completely covered by the metallic cloth he called it again it didn't ring I was completely sure that it would ring I didn't think this would block that much of the radiation where it wouldn't get a signal but it did um, and so matter of fact I left it on the bed stand at night uh, when I put the phone in it, it was about 27 degrees outside. I knew it was going to get really cold that night. I was supposed to get down single digits. And when I woke up in the morning, it was like 8 or 9 degrees outside. And I pulled the phone out, and it still read 27 degrees. And the reason was, as it was in here, it couldn't, it couldn't make contact with the outside world because it was completely surrounded by that metallic cloth all night, so it wasn't getting any signal. But um, anyway... Another cool feature about this, before I get into the test, we're going to actually test this, um, is another thing that this back pouch is good for, is like if you're going on a, on a trip and you're going to be going through airports where people might have uh, RFID readers, you know, people that are trying to steal people's uh, credit card information, you just stick all your credit cards back there in that back pouch. They're protected really good from, as you'll see when we test this thing, um, from anybody being able to read the, you know, pick up your credit card information. So let's uh, start off with first, I want to, I've got this meter turned on. You can see that um, in my house it runs between two and three microwatts per meter squared generally, um, the radiation, because I have everything protected. Um, and that, that's the, um, in a normal house in the town that I'm in, um, if you don't have any devices that are giving off electromagnetic ra radiation in or near your house, um, it runs around, when you, when you measure your, just your house like that, it runs around three microwatts per meter squared. Um, and your goal, because we all have electronic devices like, Wi-Fi and you know if you can hardwire and not have any Wi-Fi that would help a lot but anyway um, your goal is to get your house down to between three to six uh, microwatts per meter squared that's the safe the safest area down there 
So that's where I got my house down to. So um, you can see I've got the phone turned on airplane mode. Let's turn it on here. So it's on, but it's not sending out any radiation because I've got the airplane mode off. Now we'll turn, we'll take it off of airplane mode here. And you'll watch this, uh, this thing will just start going crazy. Okay, it's pegging the meter as soon as I take it off airplane mode because it's, it's putting out so much radiation. So now what we're going to do, sorry for the noise, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to stick it in, in the back pocket in where it's completely covered by the metallic uh, cloth and put it in there, you notice the thing immediately quieted down. We hold it like that. Um, and it's all, it's down to three again. I can't hardly believe that. It, anyway, cell phones don't always give off radiation, by the way, only when it's checking to get a signal or you're sending or receiving a call or doing something. But I turned the Bluetooth on and everything, so it should be it should be giving it, but see that's blocking almost all of the radiation. That's why it doesn't get a signal when you when you have it in there. So you're not going to want to be carrying it around uh, like that because if you if you put it in if you put your cell phone in there like that where it's in the completely covered, if you're, somebody calls you, your phone isn't going to ring. So what way this is designed to be carried with your phone? You hear that thing freaking out as soon as I take phone out is to be put in the front pocket because then all the radiation will still get out of this cloth there but but it won't come through this back side so you can see it's still freaking out it's acting like it's blocking a little but it's really not it's just not happened to be sending out putting out that much radiation right at the moment like I said cell phones don't always put off radiation but so you can see that it it's the radiation still gets out there. Now if we there we go, it's maxing it out there, it's doing something, the phone is. Now if we turn it around this way, where from the protected side, um, you can see it's still getting some radiation. It's a lot less than it was, but it's it's still getting some. So my phone's getting all these signals. <laughs> anyway, so you can see it still gets radiation from this side, but not as much as when you turn it this way. So I'm going to turn this off now. And I'm going to turn this thing back on the airplane mode really quick. Maybe. Okay. Here, pause the video. So you can see that this thing is really, really good at blocking radiation. But but uh, when you only have one side of something protected, you still don't want to ever put it in a pocket next to your body. Um, I mean, if you have to, you want to have it in this so that it's blocking most of the radiation. But just know some of the radiation is still going to go around uh, like that. Just like with the smart meter, if you guys remember, if any of you watched the, the other uh, video that I did where I tested a smart meter, um, you've, got a, you've got a metal box and attached to that metal box is the smart meter. The radiation coming out of that smart meter can't go through the metal box at all. But let, if you go around the wall to the opposite side of the, where you're right behind the metal box, you got the metal box between you and the, and the smart meter, and you have one of these meters like this, you're still gonna be, it's gonna be still be pegging the meter. And the reason is, is because the radiation's going around the metal box. If you get right up to the net metal box close, you're gonna, you know, it's a, it's a significant reduction, but, um, but it's still gonna be, you're still gonna have radiation going around. But when you put the, you got the metal box, you got your smart meter, then you put the smart meter guard on it, it's, it's sealed around that edge the radiation can't go through the metal box. The only way for it to escape is through the smart meter guard, which is going to block about 90 to 95% of it, of the radiation. So that's how that's, that works. And so just remember when you've, when you've got anything like this, whether it's for a, a protection for, for a laptop or 
you know, any type of device, you know, this really couldn't be much better if it was a solid piece of metal. You saw how it cut most of the radiation out of there. I guess if it was a solid piece of metal, it would cut 100%. But my point is you're still going to get some radiation going around. So this is about as, as good as you can get. I really, really like it a lot. So hope that helps. I got a little bit uh, maybe into too much detail there, but you guys can see uh, the benefits of that. Um, highly recommend it. Check the link down below if you like it. Appreciate everybody for watching this video. Have a great day. Thank you.